stuff. Oh, here's a here's a cool uh, little uplifting. I've I've always been interested in how tech can uh, solve complicated uh, human problems, physical problems, like the whole cyborg mm -hmm. stuff concept. Very cool to me. Uh, here we have a paralyzed man whose spine was severed in a motorbike crash, and he's walking again thanks to electrodes placed in his spine. He tried a new spinal cord stimulator uh, prototype. He was one of three men, 30 years old, and he's been able to walk again after the traumatic injury. He is the first person to walk with a severed spine, even though he still can't feel his legs. Hmm. Imagine being the, like, that's pretty wild. Wait, he's walking without feeling? Somehow. Wow. Uh, I think via these electrodes, he can, I guess, initiate the necessary movement. All through his the thoughts? The signal's not going back to his... The implant sends signals to the parts of the spine that control the movement, so he can send Sick. the signal... It's a one-way... Kind of. Wow, that's kind of cool. Two years after his spine was completely severed in a motorcycle accident in 2017, uh, Mikel or Michelle Rocati was able to walk, cycle, and climb the stairs with the help of a tablet-controlled device. He's now 30 and was one of three paralyzed men to test this out. All three individuals who got their implant were able to stand and move their legs hours after surgery. It took a few days for them to use a, a walker rather than full body support, but within months of therapy and practice in the lab, they've been able to regain some mobility in the real world. Uh, so anyway, the, the, this guy who's interviewed, he says, I go up the stairs now. He said, I live a pretty regular life That's amazing. with a severed spine. How about that for a story, Will? Come on, man. That's very impressive. He was active beforehand, and you can imagine that if you have one of these accidents, it can be pretty um, brutal, right, to have to adjust mm -hmm. and adapt. And so even to know that there's something to work on, even to know that there's improvement down the road uh, through technology, that's pretty cool.